Hello, Prestige Heads, and welcome to American Prestige. I'm Danny Bessner, here as always with my friend and comrade Derek Davison, and we're here to give you a special update on Israel's attack on Iran. Derek, I guess the first thing to do is what do we know? What are the brass tacks here? Uh, so early morning Saturday um, in uh, Tehran, so around 2.15, I think uh, most outlets are saying now, uh, there were reports of explosions. Um, the, uh, uh, the Israeli military then issued a statement saying that it was striking military targets in Iran. Uh, this is in response, of course, to uh, the uh, Iranian missile attack on Israel earlier this month, which was in response to the assassination of Ismail Haniya in uh, Tehran. Uh, before that, and we can go on and on back to the beginning of time, really. Um, but most immediately, of course, this this cycle is about uh, the Iranian attack earlier this month, and this is the response to that. Uh, the attack continued for a couple of hours, uh, maybe as long as three, three and a half hours. By 6 a.m., I think, local time, uh, the Israelis were issuing statements that they were done, uh, and uh, the Iranian Iranian media was already covering the attack, dismissing uh, what had happened as uh, you know kind of ineffectual. Um, so uh, what we know uh, in terms of what the the Israelis actually did, uh, this was a three wave strike. Uh, the first wave, uh, according to the Israelis, uh, targeted Iranian air defenses. Uh, the second and third waves targeted. Uh, basically missile manufacturing facilities, so the uh, places where the Iranians would have assembled the ballistic missiles that they used earlier this month. Uh, other military facilities, uh, possibly drone facilities, uh, they refer to it as weapons production sites. Uh, so possibly, you know, with something to do with the Iran's drone program. Uh the uh, the effect is still hard to to piece out, and and given the media environment, we we may never really know. Uh, but as I say, the Iranians have dismissed uh, the strikes for the most part as as having been ineffectual. Uh, they have said that four, I believe, is the latest word. Initially, it was two, but four now soldiers. Uh, I think IRGC soldiers, uh, but but uh, I could be wrong about that. Uh, but anyway, at any rate, four people at this point have been killed uh, in the strikes, and that that figure could could rise. There were some wounded, uh, you know. Obviously, that puts you in jeopardy, or uh, they may discover uh, additional people uh, who were who were killed as well.